going on YouTube? It's Mad Hatter with another Mad Hatter TV. Hope all is going well in your life. Today I am here to answer a question. This question comes from a anonymous person. Well, he's not anonymous, but he to you guys he will be anonymous. Um, and it's very interesting. I don't normally answer relationship questions because I'm I'm not the best person to give out relationship advice, but I'm gonna do my best. Um, this question is, um, I've been in a relationship for five years, and I had a one-night stand. So, should I tell my significant other of five years that I had a one-night stand? This is a very, very interesting question. And... Um, I had to do some serious thinking about this, but I find that um, the action does less to the person than lying about the action. That's me personally. I think, in my opinion, the action doesn't do as much damage as the lying does. Okay? Um, you know, certain relationships... They, they go through this thing, and it's like, they, they don't really last long after that confession, you know. Most of the time, once they tell you, hey, I've been cheating on you, you break up with them. I mean, it's, come on. Very seldom will you find a case where somebody sticks around and be like, oh, you know what, we'll, we'll make it work. But uh, if you do not tell, I know one thing is, the truth is going to come out. One day, you're going to slip, and that junk is going to come out. And the longer you wait, the longer it's going to hurt that person. Because when you finally tell them, or when they finally find out, it's going to be so much worse for you. What I find interesting in relationships, and you know, one I stand, is that it only shines light to a bigger issue in the relationship itself. I mean, because the way I see it, there had to be an issue. There had to be a problem in order for you to have a one-night stand with somebody. You know what I mean? And so, my whole thing is, I've always been an advocate of communication. So, communicating with the person should have been your first priority. Lack of communication can kill a relationship. And I know this from personal experiences. When I'm in a relationship and I don't talk to somebody, they get frustrated, then they find out from outside sources, and that's the worst thing that could happen, is find out from somebody else when you're with that person and they could have just told you straight up. Well, I've always been a advocate of, you know, um, being truthful and having a very big open conversation about these things because you get it all out and communication is key when you sit down and talk about these things it helps I mean despite the truth hurting and how um, painful it could be it helps in the long run you know what I mean clearly there are different opinions so I want to hear what you guys think about this if you are Say you're in this person's position and you are in a relationship with someone for a long period of time and you feel like, you know what, I'm going to have a one night stand because, you know, something about that person is bothering me. So I'm going to just get this one night stand out of the way. Boom. Out chicka wow wow. Come right back. And I ain't going to say a word. But would it build up on your conscience? And would you eventually tell them? Would you tell somebody that you had a one-night stand? Hmm? Let me know. Let me know what you guys would do, what you guys would think, in the comment below. And you never know, I might just do a part two to this and read back some of your comments. But um, that is it for now. Please like and subscribe and comment. I love you guys. Peace, love, unity, respect. I'm out.